one of the most exciting times in the world for a parent is when that child gets accepted into a college. Everybody's excited. Your child is happy that the school they applied for has accepted them. They're ready to go out and pursue their dreams, go and do their future endeavors, chase the career path that they want. And everybody is, you know, super amped up about the situation, but nobody's really addressed the elephant in the room. And that's how we're going to pay for it, right? Far too often, we as parents, we forget about, hey, listen, our kid is, you know, a newborn baby right now, and eventually one day they're going to grow up and possibly want to go to get some kind of further education, i.e. college, i.e. tech school, some kind of some kind of further training to make, you know, to help them in life. And a lot of times, once, you know, the kid is accepted, that's probably one of the first times people look to address how they're going to pay for college. As a father of four sons and two in college and one thing you're ready to go into college right now. I, and I'm not trying to say everybody, you know, needs to think like me, but I was one of those people that I, I got a college fund for each one of my kids a week after they were born. Um, not saying I have nowhere near enough money saved up to cover a full stretch of four year tuition, but it was able to, but it is a situation where I was able to help mitigate some certain costs. Two of those boys, the two older boys, fortunate enough for me, they was able to receive full scholarships from athletics and, mil and military and everything. A third son a little different. A third son a little different where we had to incur costs with doing it. Um, one of the problems that come up with that whole situation is I was doing planning, got through, a, went through a divorce. Me and my ex-wife had been on, you know, the same page and with certain things. I share this story with you because I know there are a lot of parents that go through similar situations like mine. Even if you have planned, you may, the other party may have not, and still in a funky situation on how you're going to get certain costs covered. So what I can't, what I do want to just, you know, push out to any parent out there, if you have children, be it younger, now we're talking about get ready to graduate, realistically, you have to be, you know how much money you can save in a short amount of time before a child graduates. If you're looking at if you got a sophomore or junior in college, but some is better than nothing. But definitely if you have younger children, try to get a college fund started as early as possible. You can apply for, you can uh, uh, apply for different scholarships and things like that, that is great. Let me explain something to you guys. Good grades get you accepted in school. It's not necessarily always going to translate to free education, okay? So you need to be very proactive as possible. If you're going to be putting emphasis on your child knowing the ABCs and the one, two, threes and reading and everything like that, especially investing your child going to private schools and get a higher education with that, you need to make sure that you're putting some money to the side for a college fund, okay? Because what we don't want to always do, and things happen, if it happens to happen, you can't control it, but if you can avoid putting your kid in a situation where you got to pay for the education with student loans. And then a couple months after graduation, on for six months a year, however it is, now they got to start incurring, taking care of this bill on top of trying to find employment, trying to find a car, trying to find somewhere to stay. So why put that burden on if we can't? Or let's try to make that burden as less as possible. So the biggest advice I can give you as a father of four kids and been doing this, guys, as soon as possible, as soon as possible, Start your kids a college fund, okay? Take care of yourself and best of luck.